The objective of this job practice is to make a sound multi-pass fillet weld on a T-joint in the vertical position using uphill travel. This method is widely used to help control distortion where a large fillet is necessary. Large single pass fillets are not recommended for uphill travel. Follow the general get ready steps. Use proper tools and protective clothing. The materials and power source settings for this exercise are listed in your workbook. Position the plates to form a T-joint and make strong tack wells on each end. Clamp the workpiece for vertical position welding at about chest height. Start at the bottom and position the electrode at a 45 degree angle from both plates and downward 5 to 10 degrees away from the direction of travel. Deposit the bead by traveling upwards with an inverted T motion. Move the electrode up one diameter, back one half diameter, and pause slightly to fill the bead height. Use a slight side to side motion, and then repeat this motion as you progress up the joint. When the first bead is complete, thoroughly clean off the slag and cool the workpiece in water. Weld the other side of the joint using the same technique. For the second weld bead, center the electrode over the right hand toe of the bead and angle it 55 degrees from the right leg of the fillet if you are right handed. And then Angle it downwards 5 to 10 degrees and weld upward using the whip and pause motion. The second weld bead should overlap two thirds of the first pass. Weld the second bead on the opposite side of the joint using the same technique. For the third bead, center the electrode over the left toe of the first bead. Angle it 35 degrees away from the right leg of the fillet, and then 5 to 10 degrees downward. Weld upwards using the whip and pause motion, overlapping the second bead by one third of its width. When the third bead is complete, Clean off all the slag, cool the workpiece in water, and inspect the weld. Then complete the multi-pass weld on the opposite side of the joint. Now, for additional practice, tack weld the five plate assembly as described in topic number eight, and weld the remaining joints. Inspect the welds, and then check with your instructor.